Yeah, Coach, uh, did you give us a preview of where you all are at here entering uh, the uh, first game of the season? Well, I think the preparation's gone very well. Uh, you know, Dan has been really committed to the process of treating this. You, know, you, you like having the extra time to prepare, but yet there is the routine of a normal week that we, that we really enjoy. So uh, we're right on track where we want to be. Uh, you know, getting through a Thursday practice, heading into a Friday, and uh, you'll feel good about where we're at. I thought we had a good day today. Uh, Coach said it was a, you know, with you coming on, it was a process of hey, taking a look at what's been good and how to make it better, and uh, that audit process he, he talked about. Uh, where do you feel you all are at uh, in trying to add some things on to, uh, you know, the league's top scoring offense last year? Well, I mean, I think we're in a good spot. You know, again, I didn't try to come in here and reinvent the wheel. These guys were a fantastic offense a year ago. Really well coached, really good players, guys playing at a high level. Uh, was really trying to dig into some of, some of the specifics in certain scenarios. Um, and finding some areas where, finding some areas maybe where we could improve some things, or maybe do things slightly different that could enhance what we did. Mm -hmm. And um, I really, I really think as a staff, we have put our emphasis there, and it's shown. Um, and I think the players have really bought into trying to get one percent better each day that we've taken the field, and, and I think that's shown as well. And where, are you comfortable with where Julio's at? I feel very good. You know, I think the, the last couple, two and a half weeks or so, he's really practiced very well. Mm -hmm. And um, he's running well. He's running well on the intermediate stuff, the deep stuff, the, the short game stuff. Um, he's comfortable in his spots on the field and where he needs to be. And I think most importantly, his rapport with Matt is, is where it needs to be at this point. So I feel good about that. And Devontae, he had some time out. Uh, yeah. How's he doing and how do you manage that split at running back? Well, I think Free has come in and practiced really well for a guy who had been out for almost two weeks at one point there with, with some personal stuff and then, you know, the, the, the protocol, he came back on fire and he's practiced really well and, you know, Tevin and Free are just such a really good one-two punch and they make each other better, A, in practice and then B, in games where one guy doesn't have to be in the whole time. Um, so, you know, so that I think we're excited to have them both go. And I think for me, this game is exciting in the fact that we get all of our guys out there really for the first time going together uh, and to be, you know, to be calling plays and, and, and managing all that stuff is exciting for me. We can't do it because of the music. I don't Allen. There's Neil dropping. Hit it to the corner. Got to get up high. All right, here comes Neesman. Get up high. High point. Oh. Now Flynn's warming up on Thursday. Facing the Chicago Bears on Sunday. Julio said he's ready to go.